Hi there, my name's Quinn McCord and I'm working here at Mogasau in this greenhouse behind us and I'm working on a speed growth cottonwood project. The project is in the greenhouse and we're, that's where we're growing eight new experimental clones that have been tested. They are rust resistant, very productive. So that's what we're currently working on right now. In this greenhouse is the, the mother clones. They were planted in two different days. One was April the 5th and one was April the 8th. Today is April the 28th. These open clones, which we have eight clones all together in this greenhouse, and they're all separated by colored tags. These were planted April the 8th. We have a bit of test on different sizes, diameters, some stems that are two thirds above the soil. We also do have 30 centimeter cuttings at the back without any buds. And we do have some stems here planted upside down that may be interesting. So this is an upside down stem that I accidentally had planted. And then upon reviewing the stem afterwards, you can see that the dormant bud has actually started to head towards the light. So they do do fine. It, it's just a bit slower uh, period of growth, but they will do fine planted upside down. These clones are extra clone material that we didn't want to waste. These mother clones will be used as well as the other mother clones in these tables to establish clone orchards and be able to use that material with future projects and planting more and more of these productive, rust resistant, high growth clones and, and be able to use that material for future projects like this and future planting projects within nurseries. So it was planted with a bud at the base of the stem and the bud has come up and it's growing. So you can also see these dormant buds, they'll come up through the bark or through a location where there used to be a bud and these dormant buds pop up. You can see them on a lot of the stems is these dormant buds. And so if you do plant the cottonwood without any buds, it, it'll be okay because uh, these dormant buds will pop up. Yeah, man, this is amazing. In the greenhouse, we have eight clones, specifically grown as rust resistant clones in Ulvus in the south of Iceland. And they've been hand selected and we are growing these specific eight clones to populate and have more material of this rust resistant black cottonwood for the future of Iceland and for the tree nurseries to be able to harvest this material to grow more and more of these high production rust resistant clones for future projects. <laughs> this clone is uh, H06 and it is a high production clone. As you can see, this purple clone is doing pretty good but the blue clone here is growing much faster than all these four clones here. This clone was uh, recommended as the fastest growing rust resistant clone for the future. Today in the greenhouse, we will be uh, cutting the new growth off the mother clones and uh, we'll be planting them into trays. We're looking at new growth. This is uh, just over 30 days old. We're going to cut uh, the top 10 centimeters off the top. And when we're cutting, you want to make sure that the newly cutting will go into water right away so it doesn't dry out. And you just want to cut just above the leaf and you want to trim off two big leaves. And 
leave the top leaf and then the leader as well. So with these, uh, these new cuttings, cutting them here, uh, if you look at the uh, new growth left, there'll be new buds shooting just above the leaves. So this will be the new growth just right above the leaf there and then the other two leaves as well. So from one cutting in 25 days, we should have three more new growth, uh, new leaders starting to form. And then we'll be able to cut those and produce three times as much from just this one new growth. Now that we have a couple stems that we can plant, Usually you want to cut at least uh, 40 of them, but we're just going to use some of these just as an example to show you. I'll take you over to the next table and we're going to plant these. So now we're going to uh, plant our newly cut stems into the soil. Uh, just make sure it goes down two thirds of it buried. And then you want to make sure to pinch the hole closed. And beforehand, I uh, prepped these cassettes by using a pencil and just poking a hole in the center all the way to the bottom. So you can see with this cutting, I just left a leaf and then the leader on there and then cut two leaves off. And we're going to plant that into the soil. And so gently pushing it down and taking good care that you don't squeeze too tight when closing the hole. That's uh, all there is. You just keep going. And ideally with these cuttings, we will get two cuttings per mother clone. There's 128 on a table and we have four tables of mother clones. It should triple and quadruple as time goes by. These are 30 day old cuttings and then we'll be cutting them, the mother clones, every 20 to 25 days after today. And these cuttings can also be cut from 35 to 40 days from now. <laughs> Adios, thank you so much for coming.